On the show today, Saad Youssef of The Athletic and Clarence Hill, no longer of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, now from All City Dallas. Fellas, it has been an active offseason for the Dallas Cowboys, particularly this last week between Jerry Jones and Dak Prescott, and a number of things have been said. What do you guys make of it? I'm thinking maybe they're both trolling us, you know, but really, I think Dak, Dak is tired of the circus, you know, and you heard that in his voice. He's tired of being part of the show in the sense of Jerry's show and like to push the envelope and say things for public consumption. That doesn't mean that Dak doesn't want to be here. So I don't want any people to, uh, he would love to get a contract here. He would love to continue his career. This is his childhood team. And he would love to continue being Cowboys quarterback. But Dak is at a point where he's come out the best season of his career. And he's in the catbird seat. Either the Cowboys pay him or somebody else is going to pay him. It goes back to the very first press conference he had in Oxnard when, you know, he was thinking twice about should he say something on the podium and he just, and he just kind of verbalized it and said, you know what, I'm just going to go and say it. And then he did. And I feel like that's what we saw this last week as well when Clarence was asking him those questions. I feel like the 2018 Dak Prescott, when Clarence asked, you know, would you like to get a deal done? Uh, I think 2018 Dak would have just been like, sure, of course. But he, 2024 Dak is just, you know, he, he took it to another level. So I think, I think we're just seeing a looser version of what Dak has always been. Clarence, I saw a tweet from one of your colleagues at All City Dallas, Jeff Cavanaugh, in the last couple of days, something along the lines of either Dak really does hate Jerry or he's just graduated to that point in the Jerry game that he gets it on a level where he's fist bumping him in the hallway. Like, we're just egging people on and just keeping people. Like, it, it, it could be either one of those scenarios right now. I think also somewhat has to do with there are so many Cowboys fans that have completely gone off the deep end as it relates to Dak Prescott and the way he plays the position. And I think he is sick of a lot of that discourse. Uh, there's no question. And he's one of the most disrespected quarterbacks in the league and his, his career and what he's done and disrespect. I, I brought up on Twitter the other day and some people talk, well, he just needs to win a playoff game. Do you think Cowboy fans and Dak critics and, and Cowboys critics be satisfied if they want two playoff games? This is the Cowboys. They don't hang division title banners at AT&T Stadium. Actually, they hang no banners at AT&T Stadium because they've won nothing at AT&T Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> they won all the Super Bowls at Texas Stadium. But the point is, they don't hang division title banners. They don't, yeah. have, they don't hang conference championship banners. Danny White went to three straight NFC title games, and people act like he's a trash quarterback. Mm -hmm. Okay. He should be celebrated. He should be celebrated as the third best quarterback in Cowboys history for what he's done. But no one thinks that. Okay. So, so so let, me, let, let me jump in there real quick, Clarence, because I, I want to ask, and I've had this argument with Mike off and on for like the last, <laughs> I don't know, a couple months here. But how Years. much of this is perspective on Cowboys fans? Because we're not talking about a playoff when we're talking two in a trip to the NFC Championship game, potentially one. We don't know whether or not they're going to have a bye week. How much of this is looking at the first 30 years of their history? And now looking at the 27 of futility that has <laughs> essentially taken over the entire franchise. Yeah, this is about 28 years, 29 years now of frustration. Four, five playoff wins since their last trip to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl title in 1996. Four since I've been covering the Cowboys. That's why I was confused. But five total playoff wins since then. So all of that is what's on Dak's back. What's on Michael's back? What's on Mike McCarthy's back? Certainly the past three years, it's about that as well. But it's also about the 27 years, 28 years that the Cowboys have not sniffed even the NFC title game. And so that's part of what they're having to deal with. But again, it's a national thing. I mean, I get people telling me that the Cowboys have been mediocre the last three years. They're 12 and 5, 12 and 5, and 12 and 5. Yeah. They're not mediocre, but people think because they haven't succeeded in the playoffs, that they've sucked. And that's not true. Hmm. Saad, jump back in here. Uh, Saad, I, I want to be a yeah. little more pointed with you, though, real quick. Mm -hmm. Do we think this is going to be Dak's last year in Dallas, or do we think he's going to hit the open market and see where, where things lead? I, I do feel like there's a 49% chance that it's his last year. I, I would still lean a little bit towards him uh, returning and being back in 2025 because I, I just feel like if he has the success in the postseason – I do think that he'll get the contract, whatever contract he's looking for, he'll get that from Jerry Jones and, and the Cowboys. So I, I'm not going to rule it out. And I would say slightly just because of everything Clarence said, this, this is still Dak's childhood team, the one that he loved. And he still likes 
all the perks that come with being the Cowboys quarterback because there's a lot. He has a platform with the Cowboys being the Cowboys starting quarterback that he wouldn't have in most other places. So I do think if he does get the job done in January and if he does have the realistic chance, I do think he's back. But I wouldn't I feel a lot more unsure about that than I did about four months ago. I'm in a similar percentage range, though, and that percentage has dropped dramatically over the course of the last two months. I would have been 85, 90 percent in July. And every time Jerry talks, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. To Clarence's point about Dak being maybe the most disrespected quarterback in the NFL, he's not the only one that hasn't won a whole bunch of playoff games. There is one truly yeah. viable star quarterback in the NFL right now who has won a Super Bowl, and his, name, and his name is Patrick Mahomes. The other active quarterbacks that have won a Super Bowl are either Matt Stafford, way on the back end of his career, Nick Foles, never really did much of anything, or Russell Wilson, who's washed. That's it. And yet Dak's the only one that is talked about ad nauseum like this. There are others that are talked about, but not quite to the level and the way that Dak is. Jimmy Garoppolo, I think, has been to two Super Bowls. Getting to the Super Bowl don't mean you're great, okay? Uh, you know, and, and and so people put too much emphasis. It's a team game. You know, they put too much emphasis on this. But regarding Dak's contract, I'm, I'm more of a 70-30 guy he's back. Because understand this. If Dak's not on this team next year, he counts $40 million against the cap. Mm. Okay, the Cowboys have put themselves in a corner. Okay, so you pay Dak forty million not to be here. Plus, you sign a quarterback, and your quarterback room is going to be what ten, fifteen million. I can pay the big money, but it, it'll be the same money that you would be if you sign Dak to a deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, they want to sign Dak to a deal. Next year's free agency crop in quarterbacks is awful. No the way. draft isn't looking great for quarterbacks either. So you're you really don't have a whole lot of options if you're trying to keep winning right now. And, and, to that, and to that point, and I'm glad you brought it up because I was meant to bring it up. You remember the quarterback abyss between Troy Aikman and Tony Rumble? No, we don't, actually. That's the point. <laughs> and and evidently, you know, Cowboys you. fans don't remember it well enough. <laughs> Jerry does not want to go back on that quarterback abyss. Hmm. 